everyone, this is Rochelle and today I'm going to bring you the answers to how I have been losing this weight because a lot of you have been asking and I've been wanting to share, just wanted to make sure I get it all down and y'all done broke this shit on some um, toilet paper, but anyway, not toilet paper, but a napkin, but here we go. Okay, it's a lot I've been doing, but really it's just, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, there's no secret, there's no pill, there's no gadget, it was just some common sense. And some willpower that's all it was the basics y'all the basics okay i'll try to sum it all up this might be a long video i got some examples and everything prepared for you so just um sit tight okay all i have been doing is eating right that's it eating right it, it's a combination of eating right it's a combination of counting calories it's a combination, like I said, some common sense. You know certain things are not good for you. Um, and, and just willpower, serious willpower. Um, and then putting things into perspective. You know, for me, I have a lot of um, a lot of illness in my family. I got strokes in my family, have blood pressure in my family, diabetes in my family, all kind of stuff floating around. And if you just read a couple of books, read a couple of articles, and just see what is really, not cancer in my, I mean, all kind of stuff, but just to see things that you can do to prevent these things. I mean, I have people getting sick, you know, early, young, you know, and I got kids, I'm concerned, you know, so I wasn't like obesely overweight, but I was overweight. Y'all saw my stomach. It was not cute. I had rolls and everything. I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I know what I look like. Y'all see me with the clothes on. I know what it look like with the clothes off and they weren't so bad, but you know, it was bad enough. So no, but going back to what the hell I was talking about, what I was trying to say is if you just take a peek, take a gander, some of the articles and things tell you how, you know, to prevent certain illnesses, certain sicknesses, and it's kind of basic to eat right. Eat right. From what I understood, from what I have been able to ascertain, okay, um, the more belly fat that you have up in this area around your belly, the more fat you are right here. Um, and this is just what I was able, what I put together, you know, from my mouth, all my little readings. Um, the more belly fat that you have here, the more prone you are to illness. Okay, that was enough right there. Like I said, I got a lot of shit floating around. I don't want none of it. So, you know, I've always been kind of health conscious, health conscious, but, you know, I'm getting a little bit older now and it's just time to tighten up a little bit, literally. So, basically, what I'm doing, okay, what I have always been doing is cut out the sugar. Cut out the sugar, leave the sugar alone, substitute your sugar for, I brought a little, a little uh, example. Look, it's used, but I just saw like fine. Splenda. You can use other things if you want to. I heard the, um, the, the uh, what is it, Sweet and Low has something in it that's um, cancer prone. The blue one equals some kind of like that too, but not as bad. But Splenda's supposed to be made from sugar, derived from sugar. So it's supposed to be not so bad. No calories whatsoever in this. One or two packets equal like five packets of sugar. I mean, so yeah. Splenda's what I use. I use this for my food. I use it when I'm seasoning. I use it when I'm cooking, when I'm baking. I use it for my coffee, my tea. Wherever you are adding some sugar in, use Splenda. It'll cut down a lot of calories and it'll, it'll it's it's a lot better for you. So this is what I have been doing. Let me say this before I even get into this. Consult your physician. I don't want nobody suing me for some information I didn't gave you. Just consult your physician if some of this, you know, seemed like a stretch to you or it might not, you know, might cause some issues. I don't know. This is what I have been doing. I've been doing this for years. I don't know. The last time I had some sugar, I don't know. Splenda is what I use for sugar. Okay, that's the first thing. It's so much. Second thing, um, water. Drink a lot of water. As much water as you can stomach. I tell you a trick to drinking water that I have found. Don't drink it out the little plastic bottle. Get you a straw. I don't know how, but it works. Get you a straw and drink your water. You'll drink a lot more water like that. I don't know that's how I have been getting by because I don't like water. You know, I mean, well, I ain't gonna say that. Nice cold, icy water. But nobody have time for all of that. You just get in the little damn plastic bottles and bucket it. So look, just you know, you can pop it in the freezer for a little bit, get the little ice sippers forming, but get you a straw. And when you get your straw, for some reason you drink it a lot faster. If you need some sugar, you need a little flavor to your water. I use in fact, my whole family pretty much uses I don't even buy juices at all. Um, rarely do I, do I buy juices. Um, get the juices from the fruit. That's what I'm coming up with that. But I get this. This is a naturally flavored lemonade drink mix. 
food line um you know we just pretty much you know they come in these little things you know you don't need to add no sugar or nothing to it just get your little you know little kool-aid pitcher and put your you know dump this whole thing in there pour some water in and stir it up and it's great flavorful and you know it's not juice it's not soda i don't even drink soda if you drink a soda i don't know slow that down soda's not good for you you know that it's all kind of sugar and all kind of who knows what well, it should bubble up like that naturally so yeah um i don't know slow down on the, on the sodas if you're drinking that like i said we don't drink soda at all here but yeah this works good they have it in all kind of flavors they have a raspberry kind too that's really good at food line any other kind you use is probably you know look at the look at the ingredients on the back no calories um no carbs just nothing in here just flavor you know so it's not anything nutritious but it's you know if you want some flavor you can pop this in here without hurting anything so this is good this is really a great idea it's gonna be a long video it's gonna be a couple of videos okay that's number one so no um cut out the sugars um drink a lot of water um what else does i say cut out the soda you need no sodas other a basic thing okay eat things that are as close to how they were created in nature is possible, okay? So that means um, your rice and your grains, get whole grains, okay? Get brown rice. Um, here we go. All my rice is substituted for brown rice. Not the tastiest shit in the world, but it, it's it's better for you. It's better for you. Um, so stick to things, like I said, that were as close to nature as they came. You know, and that's what you want to go for. No real refined um, wheats and things like that. I don't know what the stuff's really called, but you know what I'm saying. None of that stuff, they got color in it and white bread. I know it's good. I know it's good. Stop it. No white bread, okay? This is what I eat now. I've been eating this for the last few months. Nature's own, okay? 100% whole wheat, whole grain bread. This is what you need. This has got about, I think, 50 calories a slice. I think 50 calories a slice. Um, it's got some fiber in there, a little bit of sugar, protein. I mean, it's a great source of um, um, nutrition. So this is what, you know, I would have. Um, so I'd have like a, and not a whole bunch of them. Just one, one piece. One piece is all you need. Um, yeah. For butter, if you want to butter your toast, I, got, I, guess some, I don't even know this video. I'm just going to do the best I can. Um, for butter, um, get you, I use Smart Balance. Um, it's supposed to be all, you know, it's supposed to be have all these vitamins and stuff in it. I don't know. I use it. Smart Balance. Um, if you want to stay away from things that say like low fat, blah, 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 look at it. Look at it. Have the shit out there. I'm telling you, when you go grocery shopping, I know I'm all over the place, but I have to tell you, because I was doing this too. When you go grocery shopping, you're looking for low fat, low soil, blah, 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 blah. Look at the label. Because if it's low fat or something else, and it's like something that's not in nature normally, they even put something else in there to make it taste good. For instance, when I used to try to lose weight, I would substitute a lot of my lunches for soup. Do you have any idea how much sodium is in soup? You would lose your mind. If you, if you got some soup in your cabinet, take a look at the sodium. It is horrendous how much salt is in there. I mean, you know, salt retains weight, right? So, mm -mm, can't do that. Oh, another trick I tell you about the salt. Let me, let me tell you this little tidbit, okay? I was doing good on my diet. This was about a month or so ago. No, about two months ago. I was doing good on my diet, everything. Me and hubby went to the movies. You know how I'm always telling you about the movies? Well, at the movies, I do have soda. At the movies, okay? That's the only time I ever really have soda. Is at the movies, you know, try to, you know, get into the feel of it. So, I had some popcorn and I had some soda. Okay, I had weighed myself that morning. Anyway, after the movie, and you know how they have a little, um, what is it, a little flavoring you can put on your popcorn. Well, you know, I sprinkled a little bit of that on. I think it was um, ranch. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I shouldn't be telling you this. It's good, though. Um, but sprinkle that on, you know, and periodically, popcorn get a little sprinkle some more on, you know, get the flavor. Y'all, I got home just to see what I had did. I don't know why I did this, but I got my ass on the scale. I gained five pounds. One two three four a five five pounds you have no idea i was crying i could i was i thought something was wrong i was ready to go to the hospital i knew five pounds in a matter of hours how is that possible i was on the internet until i found out that salt retains water and that is very normal if you eat a whole bunch of popcorn and shit at the movies I didn't know that. I found on Yahoo Answers or something like that. Salt. Salt. So the salt, cut the salt out. I don't have any um, alternatives for salt. I really, I don't, I, I don't have any salt, really. Barely any. Um, but they're supposed to be, what is it called? 
what's that salt called? Sea salt? Sea salt. Mm -hmm. I think it's what it is it's supposed to be good. I don't buy that. But you know, if you had that, it's supposed to be better than salt. So that was my little tidbit on salt, okay? So look at labels. Look at the labels. The salt makes a huge difference. Prepackaged foods. Speaking of prepackaged foods. It's everywhere. It's just so many things that I have been doing that I need to tell you. So, I don't know, we need 12 minutes. It's going to be about four videos. Sorry. Um, Prepackaged foods. I have to show you the shit before it um, defrosts and I got to eat it all. Okay, for lunch. Example for lunch. Should I do it like that? Examples for breakfast? You just keep going. I don't know. Fuck it. All right, examples for lunch. Okay, prepackaged foods. It helps me out a lot. Um, I don't have to go buy and making up stuff and all that. You know, just prepackaged food is already done, but check the ingredients, check the nutrition. You have to do that. You have to do it. Don't eat nothing until you look at what's going on with the calorie count, what's going on with the fat, saturated fat. All you have to look, you have to. Okay, what I do um, every week pretty much is I'll get. Uh, I'll get a pack of this kind of fish and this is called you don't have to get this brand but I'm saying whiting um, I just like this one or some salmon is good too so it's be a little dry it's a lot to do to get it moist but whatever um this is what I do I'll take this I'll bake up a whole lot of them like um maybe Sunday Saturday whatever when the kids you know when you cook and they don't, they don't go for baked fish too much but whatever it's healthy so I'll bake up a whole tray of this bake it put your little seasons on now a lot of salt um, if you want a good little recipe for baked fish, I can give you that. And then wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator. And lunchtime, this is what I do. I'll get me one slice. One slice of this. Okay, it's one slice. That's 50 calories. Whole grain, get my fiber, get my grains. Then I'll have one of these fillets. And I will wrap it up, kind of like a hot dog. You know, kind of just, just lay overlap it. And I'm um, putting on. Oh, if I want some spice or something, a little extra, some, you know, wetness to go around, make it all melt, mush together, I will get some, not tartar sauce, no, not mayonnaise. Stay the hell away from mayonnaise. Listen, leave mayonnaise alone. You, mustard works just as well. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds nasty. It's the same thing. Mustard is just as great as mayonnaise. Try it. It is not that bad. I eat mayonnaise, not mayonnaise, but mustard with my fishes, any, my fishes. Mustard with my fish anyway, but this is what I use. Mustard. Like I need to show you what the hell mustard look like. Mustard. As you can tell, okay, yeah, I shop at Food Lion. It's all this shit is Food Lion brand. Mustard. Okay, that's it. For the sides. You see that little bit of meat I had, a little bit of bread. For the sides, I will have, I don't have any more. This is I got to go to the grocery store. It's called Pick Sweet. And it's a, um, it's like a, a vegetable medley, and it's got peppercorns, and it's all seasoned. It's got like squash, little sweet pea pod things, um, little onions cut up in there, broccoli, cauliflower, all of that. Okay, and you just put that on the stove and put a little bit of water. You know how you do it. Cook that and have a lot of that. I mean, as much as that as you want. There's hardly any calories in that. Um, but you don't want to go overboard. So about you know a good handful of that and some of that water. And guess what? I'm full. Full, I tell you, full. Now, if you need something that's sweet, and I forgot to bring this, if you need something that's sweet, don't go for the candy bar, don't go for the ice cream, don't go for none of that. None of that. I'm tell you what I do when I have a sweet tooth, okay? A box of raisins. I'm sorry if you don't like raisins. A lot of y'all out there don't like raisins. I love raisins. A box of raisins. It's got the fiber, and it's got the sweetness, and it's all natural. A little box, not the big box. The big box like this, that's like 130 calories. But the little box, that's like 45 calories. Food line brand works for me. It's like a dollar, dollar fifty cents, something like that for a whole bunch of miniature boxes. And I'll snack on that after I'm done eating. That whole thing was, let me see. Let me see how many calories this. 97 calories for one damn for the big ass fish. 97 calories, 50 calories for the bread. Mayonnaise, I mean the mayonnaise, keep saying that. Don't do the mayonnaise. For the um, for mustard, that's like nothing. Two calories, if that. I think it's nothing in there. Let's just see. I don't think there's any calories in there. Nah, damn calorie in the bunch. No nothing in here. A little bit of sodium, that's it. That's it. Um, and yeah, and the vegetables and that, who knows, the vegetables, maybe 50 calories for that big old serving of vegetables. Look at that. I mean, that's a whole lunch and then your water, there's no calories in that either. Okay, I'm counting calories, people. That's what I'm doing. I'm counting them. I try not to go. Oops. 
I try not to go above um, uh, 1,400 calories. I try, to, I try to aim for like 1,200, 1,300 calories. You know, I stayed at 13, 14, but that's what I'm doing. Counting calories, eating things that make sense.